All right, in this one we're going to look at making a beat with a single shot audio clip. Now, what on earth is a single shot audio clip? It's um, just a little bit of audio of one sound, like one snare drum a hit or one cymbal hit or one kick drum beat. Now, you're going to need um, a collection of these, um, and it just depends where you've got them from. So um, I've put a collection for you in... Um, so I'm here, student S drive, computing, CHM, year 10, and there is the audio file there. If you go into there, you'll see this thing, single shots, and I recommend that you copy and paste that into your own dri U drive. So when you um, see the single shots, you'll see them there, they're all labeled, and if you open one, um, uh, select, okay, so we just play it in media player, for example, um, that's all you hear. So there it is there. Um, let's play it again. So it's just one single sound. So what we're going to do is use a selection of these sounds and put them together in Audacity to make a beat. Now it's not um, the easiest way to do this, but it's a good exercise for practicing all your Audacity skills, like uh, moving sound around on and working with um, tracks and things like that. So this is perhaps not the way professionals would do it, but it's a good learning exercise. All right, let's get started. Right, so here's Audacity, and I'm going to import the tracks. Now, each track is going to have a new um, sound um, sound on it, or rather, each track is going to have a different instrument. So there's going to be one track for the kick drum, one track, track for the snare, and one track for the cymbal. So keep a drum kit in your mind. Imagine what's happening. The player's hitting, um, stamping on the pedal for the kick drum, hitting the snare drum for the, um, the beat, and hitting the hi-hat or the cymbals with the sticks. Each of those... Um, different types of sounds is going to be on a different track. So let's go file, import, import audio. We find the file, single shot, and I'm going to start with a kick, one shot there. Right, okay. Now when we play this, right, you can hear the kick drum play. Remember you can zoom in and out. I've zoomed out a little bit here. And remember up here, this is your time in seconds. So if the drummer kicks the um, kick drum twice a second, so... Um, once every 0.5 of a second, that would be um, 2 times 60, which would be 120 beats per minute, which is kind of about the speed of a fast dance track. So um, let's put in the kick drum every half a second. You're going to need to chop the end of the sound file off. So um, we're going to go to here, and we're going to adjust it. Right, so I've lined up my cursor there. I can get that more accurate by zooming in. Click on the zoom tool and left click. And it always kind of goes off. And see, I've just missed it slightly. So um, right on the 0.5, edit, uh, clip boundaries, and split. Now I've got the, um, I can move that second part there. And I can highlight and delete it to get rid of it. So click on highlight and delete. Right, so now I'm going to um, copy this section. So control C, go to the end, and control V. And if I do that several times, um, I'm just going to work on um, one second's worth of music here. But if I do that several times, then I'll get, I'll get more. So now I play it, and I've got the kick drum going. So now my job is, um, that's a beat, but it's a little bit dull. So now my job is to put sounds in between it to spice it up a bit. And remember, music has a set rhythm, and it's has patterns so um, you might like to try putting the snare in at 0.2 of a second or halfway through um, that particular bar which is 0.25 so you might go kick drum snare kick drum snare and then put some of the other sounds that you can find in um, let's have a look at doing that now so we'll go file import um, import audio uh, and we've got a kick hi-hat let's hit the hi-hat shot one open that up and so we're going to position this, the hi-hat, at exactly um, 0.25 of a second, which is about there. So I haven't done it quite exactly, but that'll do. All right, so there's my basic beat. Um, I can copy that whole section, copy and paste it to if I want my beat to go a bit longer. Uh, using the loop play is quite useful. So if you hold down Shift and hit loop... Um, I'm not sure whether you can hear that or not, you get the um, beat playing over, and that can be useful for working on your beat. Alright, so to do this, you need some samples. You've got one-shot samples there in the folder. Um, each track has a different sound on it. You might have four or five tracks 
um, for a very complex beat um, and just uh, play around with it. If you'd like to export your final beat, um, once you're happy with one or halfway through, just go export and you can export your beat as an mp3 file or whatever you want. Alright, have fun with that. Looking forward to hearing your um, creations.